Congratulations. God bless you. Hello to you. And I'm grateful to God that God is doing great things in your life. Welcome to Prophetic Prayer Hour, a prayer section where God transforms our life and the platform of total restoration, breakthroughs, increase, such as we have never seen before. I am excited that you are part of this and this is our 30 days of breakthrough and glory and i want you to know that god is faithful is faithful is faithful the word of god declares it that when we pray if two people in march chapter 18 verse 18 if we agree in touching a thing on earth he said that whatsoever we bow on earth shall be bowed in heaven March to the 7, verse 7 declares and said, If we ask, we shall receive. If we seek, we will find. If we knock, the door shall be opened to us. Please go ahead, share this video and connect to what God is doing right here in the prophetic prayer hour. I'm excited that you are part of God's greatness here. And I want you to connect with the whole of your heart because God is ready to transform your life. Share this video. And let's pray. Go ahead and share. Go ahead and comment. Go ahead and like. And don't forget to do all you can to subscribe. It's so important. The Lord bless you. Great, 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 great things are happening. Day 23 of our prayers today. And we are dealing and praying on this tough topic. The Goliath of poverty is dead. The Goliath of poverty is dead is dead now in luke chapter 10 verse 19 the bible declares it clearly and it said that behold i have given you power i've given unto you power to tread upon serpent and scorpion and over all the powers of the enemy on the line all the powers of the enemy and then it declares and it said nothing shall by enemies hurt you Hallelujah. There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in God's word and there is power in prayer. Now, knowing that there is all this power, the supreme power, you need to know that if you are not connected to the realm of the supreme, then there is a power called the power of poverty. 
the power of poverty and if you are not careful and connected to the supreme power the the the, 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 the glorious power you know that governs all other power the power of the kings of kings and the lord of lords if you're not connected to that power the truth of the matter is the power of poverty can end you it can deal with you it can mess you up and it can end you I want you to know that to some people, uh, the poverty is standing right now as Goliath is standing in front of David. And you know something? David was faced with this Goliath and he decided, uh, he decided to end the Goliath. You need to decide to end the Goliath of poverty standing in front of you. Many of us right now are faced with the Goliath of poverty poverty many people are faced with the goliath of poverty but until there is a prayer that can bring it down the truth is everyone will still be under the siege of that goliath you are going to pray this prayer i am not going to be a slave to the goliath of poverty i am not going to be a slave to the goliath of poverty i activate the power from the most high and i begin to deal with every goliath of my life you will not be quiet you will pray you will say this prayer number one let the sword of goliath working against me be used to remove the head of Goliath. Let the let the what the sword of Goliath working against me be used to remove his head in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and begin to pray that prayer. <laughs> for you. The Lord begin to bring down every Goliath of poverty. They are thwarted. They are destroyed. They are dead. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you Father. Oh, glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Are you, are you, are you receiving this? Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. You are changing levels. Oh yes, I'm talking to you. You are changing levels. God is working on your matter. God is shifting you from rain to rain, from level to level. And I hear the Lord saying, a new thing has happened. You are getting to the next phase of your life. You are getting to the next realm of your life. You are getting to the next level of your life. I prophesy, enter now. Deal with your Goliath. I command every Goliath of poverty in front of you, holding you down. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Woo, glory to God. And hearing things in my spirit, you will testify. You will be celebrated. Oh God. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm talking to you. You will be celebrated. The Yeshua will honor you. The King of Glory will honor you. 
The Lord of Lords will honor you. You will be celebrated in the name of Jesus Christ. See, God is telling me something. God is saying to me, he said, wealth will change hands. Wealth will change hands. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but I prophesy, wealth will change hands. There is somebody right now, you've been trusting God. You've been with empty hands. You have been looking up to God. Ah, wealth will change hands in Jesus' name. They go, anytime you are supposed to excel, they go, lie and just come and stand in front of you. What will they do? When they stand in front of you, they stop what needs to come. When money comes, before the money, the money is on the way coming, their problems spied down. Goliath is already ready to consume the money. Every Goliath in your life must go down in the name of Jesus Christ. Goliath. Goliath is the element that is bigger than you. Goliath. The Goliath against your finances, against your health, against your wealth, against your future, against Against your education, against your ministry, against your destiny. Today, that go loud against your family, against your children, against your wife, against your husband, against your brothers, against your sisters, against your parents, standing against the whole family from the root, from your foundation. Today, I declare, go liar. In the name of Jesus, it's time for the child of God to break forth. It's time for you to break forth. Break free and break forth. Go forward right now. Break forth. Break through. Break forth. Break through. Break forth. Go forward. Never go down. I prophesy on liberation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on. Declare it. Write it down. The Goliath of my destiny is dead. Write it in the comment section. The Goliath of my destiny is dead. Write it now on the comment section. The Goliath of my destiny is dead. I prophesy that Goliath is dead in the name of Jesus Christ. The Goliath of poverty, dead in the name of Jesus Christ. God said, wealth is changing hands. The Egyptian moved. <laughs> they moved their gold to the hands of the Israelites. Wealth is changing hands. They move their gold to the hand of the Israelite. You are hearing me. The Lord said, houses that you didn't even build, you will be you, to be yours. Handed over to you. There's somebody I'm seeing a document, a landed document, handed over to you. Oh God. Salina Maruda Bayana Nasha. Land document, land document. In a very good place, handed over to you. Receiving Jesus' name. As a pastor, you feel like giving up right now. You feel like giving up. You feel like giving up. You're a pastor. You feel like giving up. God is not to tell you, don't give up. I'm sending helpers your way. Don't give up. I'm sending helpers your way. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Prayer number two. You will pray that prayer. Let wealth change hands in my life. Let wealth change hands in my life. Fill my hands with wealthy things, oh Lord. Let wealth change hands in my life. Fill my hands with wealthy things. Go ahead and begin to pray that prayer. My Father, my Father, in the name of Jesus, as I begin to pray, let wealth change hands in my life. Fill my hands with wealthy things. Let wealth change hands in my life. Fill my hands with wealthy things. Shabbat <laughs> 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 
It's a prophetic declaration number one. I prophesy wealth has changed hands into your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, wealth has changed hands into your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. You know what I'm hearing? I'm hearing God saying to me, your name has been changed. Ah, oh, you didn't hear that. Your name has been changed. You are now called the wealthy. That is your new name. Write it down. My new name is the wealthy. My new name is the wealthy. Your name has been changed. You are now called the wealthy. I prophesy. You are the wealthy. You are the wealthy. You move in honor. You move in blessing. You move in grace. You move. Oh, you move in anointing. You move in power. You are now called the wealthy. Therefore, in the name that is above all name, flow in that realm. Flow in that dimension. That is your new name, the wealthy. In Jesus' name, you are moving from the wealthy to become the wealthiest. You are moving from the wealthy to become the wealthiest. I prophesy, so shall it be. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Congratulation. Jubilation. The Lord has done it and it is permanent. Hear me? It is permanent in your life in Jesus' name. You know what I'm hearing God say? God said, tell them to dance. Tell them to dance. After this broadcast, spend 15 minutes dancing around your room, giving God praise because your contract has just been released. I'm telling you, they will call you. Less than three days, they will call you. In three days' time, they will call you. Somebody, you're having issue dealing with the farm, dealing with the farm. They will call you. They will call you. They will call you. They will call you. God is not to tell you, get ready. They will call you for the supply. They will call you for the honor. They will, oh, your joy has been full in Jesus' mighty name. Your name has been changed. Remember that. Do not forget it in the name of Jesus. You want God to heal you? You are no longer sick. Now you're healed. Get ready. Be healed now. I release the healing power of God upon you right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. You are healed by the power of God in Jesus' name. There is no devil anywhere that have the power and the ability to stop you. <laughs> the broken will say they never born that devil. All right? So no devil anywhere can stop you. You are blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. Whatever you could not do before, get up and start doing them. You could not walk, begin to walk. You could not, you know, breathe well, begin to breathe. Not just start doing the thing you could not terminal disease is living right now is living is gone right now in the name of Jesus Christ anyone that felt that on slum or dead let the person hear this again get up and begin to live again in Jesus name power of God is available to deliver in the name of Jesus Christ go ahead and celebrate God he has done it for you in Jesus name all right thank you father glory to God I want to say congratulations do you know why? Because it is time to enter into the realm of grace and assess and activate all that God has given to us. So what do you do? Go ahead and begin to prepare to get to the next level. And that level is, is offering time in the prophetic prayer hour section. And by the grace of God on this platform, we give opportunity for us to give and to be, I mean, to be given as well. So you will give and then we receive from the Lord. Go ahead as you are led by the Spirit of God do right now. The account numbers are on your screen. Give and it shall be given unto you. The Bible declares, it's a good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over, shall men give unto your bosom. What are you giving for? You are giving for the Jesus crusade. You are giving for souls to be blessed, souls to be won, more souls to be won. 
under Christ and it shall be well with you. I'm ready to hear your testimony. I'm waiting to hear that you testified and you were dancing in joy. God has blessed you and I say congratulations to you in Jesus name. We will be going to the testimony section and while we are hearing the testimony, we will be giving our offering. So I'm going to pray for your offering now. Then you will move to the testimony section and while the testimony is going on, remember, maintain give your offering and connect to the testimony you're receiving so we see and receive your own breakthrough of testimony i pray for you today jehovah will answer you the lord will be with you the lord will fight for you and it shall be well with you in jesus name your offering is blessed in jesus name. go ahead and give it now you are blessed in the name of jesus christ by the grace of god tomorrow the 24th day of our prayer section we are going to be having a beautiful time in the presence of god and do you know what we'll be dealing with keys dealing with doors we're going to be opening doors all right now there are prophetic things that look foolish obey do it when well, you're coming any form of key hold it in your hands come with it car keys house key whatever key come with it God wants us to handle something so strong. We are dealing with open doors tomorrow. Any door shut against you must be opened by the power of God in Jesus' name. And I'll see you tomorrow. You are blessed. Listen to the testimonies. Make sure you listen to the testimony. Watch it to the end. God bless you. And I celebrate you. You are lifted in Jesus' name. My heart. Praise the Lord, Papa. During the uh, this morning prayer, you make a, a comment that uh, if we need a miracle money, I will should place the right here on the phone. I quickly rush and do that immediately. Behold, uh, is a a friend of mine who has uh, asked for favor. Who is short? Who said help me? He said I came into my new location for some time. Has just been turning me up and down. I will ask. He will just tell me I'm going to do. Behold, before I know this uh, afternoon, I just saw an alert on my phone. It is a uh, it's a miracle, and I was not expecting. So God be the glory. Thank you for the prayer. Bless God for what He's using to do. My name is Rijo Malayo. I've been having this problem with my ears now for years. I couldn't hear properly through one of my ears. And I noticed that problem when I had toothache. The pain actually penetrated into my ear drum. And as a result of that, I couldn't hear properly again to that ear. So I came in contact with our daddy, Prophet Isimene, who answered for us, who prayed for us, and was praying about healing. I joined this daily program, and God used him for me that day. I actually placed the phone on the on my ear, that particular place that was that was not hearing properly through my uh, phone. And after a while, I began to pick its word gradually. And throughout that morning program, I heard everything I he was saying. I really thank God for what God is using our daddy to do. May the Lord continue to increase in more and more in the name of Jesus. His anointing will never run dry. I bless God in Jesus' name. Amen. If I ever tell the lie, I won't give it up.